Hey guys, the Jason 2016 has just received the Android Nougat 7.0 update and it provides new UX and various performance modes, improved usability of the notification feature and quick settings button, improved usability of multi-window and efficient space for installation. Okay, this is required for so this is the information and I've just downloaded it. I will install it and just give you a review of it. So uh, let's start with the review without wasting more time. So guys, no got booted on my Galaxy J7 2016 and first we'll go to the software information in the about phone, the software information. We can see we are running the Android 7.0 Nougat with Samsung Experience 8.1 and we're getting Android security patch level is August 1. So it's a latest uh, security patch. Now uh, other features I will tell you afterwards. And now let's take a look at the UI. So this is the status bar. Same, we are getting view LT and asset uh, battery icon. Every other things are same. Also the Wi-Fi indicator is something different. Here's the notification panel, quick settings, and this is a notification panel. When you get notification, you can see. And okay, one more thing. Uh, this new S bike mode uh, looks really uh, awesome. The icon. Now let's take a look at these apps. The firmware is uh, full of deep blo uh, Sorry, full of bloat with Microsoft and Google apps. Samsung apps are also also present, like the USB backup, Samsung members, Samsung Mini Pay. Now let us go to the settings and see some more of the features in sound. Use volume keys for media like it will set the default action to media. Ringtones are normal. Notification sounds you can customize. Touch sounds. Dialing keypad you can customize all of this. Sound quality and effects. We have the separate app sound feature. Like if you want to play YouTube video on this and the audio on any other device or any Bluetooth device you can select that. Really good feature. And going to the display getting the screen zoom and font also this is awesome feature no need to root to change a dpi you can easily do that here easy mode home screen is only the settings provided let's go back going to advanced features we have the quick launch camera one handed mode game launcher and tools you can enable if you want multi window also works perfectly i will make a separate video on all the apps and features dual messenger really awesome feature if you uh, are using two sims and want both and the firmware is fully debloated as I uh, sorry bloated as I said before now let's take a look at the camera the camera view is different fully changed and you can see some new feature like anti-fog now let's go to the settings and you can view here all of the uh, you can just uh, check the settings and if you want some save pictures are previewed shooting methods uh, tap screen and review pictures that's normal thing and yes floating camera button as i already showed the location of the storage and these all apps are no good uh, and really awesome this was experience like i was using it for last one huh device maintenance let's see the memory let's clear everything so after clearing everything, I'm getting a 700 MB free, uh, normally like not using any more such of the apps. Also, yes, the no uh, recent apps. So these are big cards we're getting in the recent apps. So guys, this was a short review of the Galaxy J7 2016 no -Gut. I hope you guys will like this review. And if not, press the dislike button and show me what was the fault and all those uh, things which I missed here. Also, I will make a future video on all of the features present in the Android 7 point no but also I will show you this uh, lock screen delay. It's fully fixed. So Samsung has released this OTA for the J7 2016 Indian variant. So guys, if you really like this video, press the like button and if not, press the dislike button. Also, subscribe for more videos and bye guys. I will see you in the next one. Yeah.